hello. Welcome to the vlog. Starting this off by getting ready for the day. Um, honestly, wasn't sure what kind of video to do, but I felt like filming today, I guess. We'll see. Hopefully this will make a full vlog because I don't have time for like a whole weekend worth of stuff. I guess we'll start with hi or welcome or welcome back. My name is Carly. I make videos about books and life and stuff. Today's probably going to be more of a day in the life sort of thing and then instead of a read in my life. But being creepy to the people. Oh, oh next door. I've got kind of a bit just a bit of stuff I have to do today. I need to run to Target. I have to pack. I need to do laundry. I want to finish my book because I'm almost, almost done with the words of radiance. I like I can absolutely finish that today. And then I want to play more video games. But it is nice out. Yesterday was like almost 80 degrees. Today is not going to be quite that nice, but it's still going to be really nice. So I want to get out there and enjoy the sun before I go on vacation on Monday which I say before I go on vacation on Monday, I'm going to Vegas and it's supposed to be like almost 100 degrees. So get some sun and some warmth while there. But that's what my day is gonna look like right now. I'm just gonna get ready. Part of me is sort of like, man, um, do I want to go to Target now? It's like probably, it's 9.45 in the morning. Um, I'm gonna use my camera to do my hair real quick. So, I want to run the Target now. Just get it done and over with. Sort of why I will go to Target or stores and shopping this early. And then that gives me the rest of the day. I sort of, I've been so tired this past week. Um, like, so tired. But, I'm still feeling really tired so part of me wants to like make myself another cup of tea and then maybe see if it's if I feel warm enough to sit outside um, and maybe finish my book uh, and then go to Target yeah I don't know well maybe we'll we'll check outside but look at these earrings can we can we show yeah. those are like real flowers in there I got them a couple weeks ago they are more than these ones once. They are super cute. There they are. See them? That's cute. That's cute. Okay. Perfume. Okay, let's go see what it's like outside. Plan of attack. I'm gonna make myself another cup of tea and we're gonna sit outside and finish reading my book. Finished Words of Radiance. 
finally. Um, I say finally, but it took me like three-ish weeks to read, which honestly is not that bad. Okay, I work a full-time job and um, was at the tail end a really busy part of the job and I managed to finish this in like three weeks so I'm pretty pretty proud of that but this is not about how quickly we finish books okay finish this immediately text my brother asking him to if he could drop off the third book next weekend thoughts on this um I didn't like this as much as I liked the first one I still really enjoyed this the ending was just as engaging maybe not quite as engaging as the ending of the first book but there is still enough happening. Um, something happened in this book and I didn't catch my reaction because I was not prepared for it to happen. I sort of had expected it because I had sort of spoiled myself by looking at the very back just to see how many pages there were, but it looks like the last like 16 pages were just like, like different things of the story and then a sneak peek of the third book. So what I had read was definitely a spoiler, but it was also part of the third book, not this book. So yeah, what happened at the end, I knew it was going to happen. Um, but I didn't actually expect for it to happen like on page if that makes sense um but I was very very shocked but yeah ended up giving this a uh, four out of five stars um still really enjoyed it can't wait to continue this series what you saw me reading next because I just wanted to finish my tea is in the weeds um second book in the what is it the love light series I think it is. This one follows Evelyn St. James and Beckett Porter. I started this a few weeks ago because I had needed just like a break from that massive thing and so yeah now I'm gonna really dive into it. I'm about 60 pages in. It's already it's such a quick read. Um, I will definitely finish this within the next couple of days. Um, it's gonna be one of those books that come with me on vacation. Uh, and then like I said, it's nice out. So later today, I'm probably going to go and like sit outside and I will probably read a whole bunch of this. But that second cup of tea was a mistake. Me and caffeine don't get along very well. It is what it is. Um, but I think that's why I'm going to go to Target now to get those last minute things that I need for my trip. And um, then spend the rest of the day at home. Just got back from Target and serious question about my vitamins. I haven't been able to find this one in months but they're gummies and serious question but if I take gummy vitamins maybe not in packaging on an airplane are they gonna think they're weed gummies? And this is a very serious question because I live in a state where weed is very much legal um, but I personally do not partake in weed related activities. I sound so straight laced saying that. But I don't want, like, I want to bring my gummies. I think they will, it helps me. Um, but I don't want it confiscated, confiscated. And then I'm thinking I am, I'm trying to smuggle drugs because I'm not. I just want some vitamins. It is very nice outside. I was kind of thinking maybe I'd come home and play some video games, but I think I'm going to take my blanket and go outside and read a bit. It is nice out. Um, I found my tank top. I just bought this tank top at Target. I hope it fits. I don't know. Um, but the skirt I'm wearing, I wore it for like the first time ever yesterday and I was like, man, I wish I had like just a plain black, like thick tank, like sleeves or whatever like this. Um, and so I found it at Target, so I really hope it fits. I also kind of need to eat something. Um, I don't know. I really need to get packing done, but I don't. I want to be outside. So I'm going to be outside. I can also always finish packing tomorrow. It's fine. It's like noon now, and I just made myself lunch salad. Um, I hope it's good. Mm -hmm. That is good. I've just been sitting outside reading my book, reading some fan fiction. Um, but what I just realized was that the book I am reading and the fan fiction I'm reading right now have the same premise, which is basically that our main couple 
like met and slept together um like sometime before the start of the book had one night stand that turned into quite a few days of fun and then now they're meeting up months years later um and it's gonna eventually turn into a long-term relationship i just thought it was funny because i did not plan that just about 100 pages in um, i am really liking it it's easy to read um not like the great next great masterpiece novel but you know what I mean, books don't need to be that way this is so far has been super cute even though we haven't had like that much interaction between our main characters um but i think i mentioned before i'm not a huge fan of small town romances or if only like the ones that i've read just haven't really like okay i think sarah adams small town romances were not what i was one what I, I liked but i am liking the small town feel from here like it actually feels a little more like they care about each other but there's some quirks but they're not with the townspeople but they're not it feels more like reality rooted in reality i don't know how else to explain it but i am liking it and i like the added touch and i'm calling it that beckett is autistic um because there was a scene in here where he was having dinner with his family and um he has like noise canceling headphones that he'll wear because it's um can get too loud and he doesn't do well with like the sound and then i guess there's other hints because he doesn't really like <sighs> he likes to be by himself and he has things the way he th likes things done and he's really into um farming and stuff if i remember correctly and so i don't know i think that's it's really kind of nice to read about i have spent the last i don't know how long <laughs> just like watching instagram reels on my phone it's like 3 30 now and i think i'm ready to go inside my phone i need to charge it and i'm just feeling sleepy like that afternoon sleepiness so i think i'm gonna go and um play some video games now i still need to pack um, but I got about 150 pages into this, just like 140, okay, it's like 140 pages. Um, so that honestly puts me about halfway through because this book is like 300. Um, so that's cool. I'm gonna go inside now. Okay. It is like 7 o'clock now, and I still haven't packed. My brother did bring over the third book. He, so he was saying that he just finished this one today and I had just finished the second one today. So he was in town and brought it over for me. So that was very nice of him. I'm not taking it on vacation with me, but I am glad to have it for when I want to read it in probably the next couple months. But I haven't eaten dinner yet and I just need to pack. So we're gonna do that. We're gonna eat first and then we're gonna turn on my show. I'm watching 911 at this time. I have blowing through that like blow i've not binged a show this hard in i don't know how long like like i am on season six they're airing season seven right now like i started this like three weeks ago too like it i like do nothing in my spare time but watch the show right now and i need to be caught up with the show so that i can start doing other things in my spare time rather than obsessing over watching this show it is so good. I did not expect it to be this good, but it is so, 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 so good. I am, I am obsessed with everyone. Everyone on that show is like beautiful, perfection. I love them all. I did not expect to be this in love with it. Anyway, there's my rant about that. So we're gonna eat, we're gonna eat, I'm gonna eat, and then probably start packing so that I'm not too worried about the packing because we're going down to the airport tomorrow night. Um, so I still have like tomorrow to pack. Um, I'm a pretty quick packer. I am a backpack and carry on girly. So I'm not too, too worried about myself. 
so it's the next day and I uh, didn't pack and we're going to the airport tonight this is I say didn't pack this is kind of basically what I want there's stuff I probably still need to try on to see if I want to bring it um, I'm not actually too worried about this but yeah, we're going to the airport tonight um, so I kind of need to do that now it's like 9 30 I just bit my morning I watched three episodes of 911 this morning already and I'm gonna turn on another one so We're gonna pack. I don't even know what I want to wear today. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna pack. many pants. I do have way too many pants, but like, what do I want to go give away? Give away? What ones do I want to leave behind? I'm only gone for four days. Um, and I definitely do not, sorry, distracted, need four pairs. Four? One, two, three, four, five, six. I don't need six pants, not including my pajamas. Definitely do not need six. Okay, what do I see myself wearing? It's been a few days. I uh, can't remember what I last filmed. I know I did not film a wrap up. So we'll kind of do a little wrap up for the video now. Um, but since I got back from vacation um, on Thursday, it is now Saturday, um, I figured I would also talk about the books that I read Wow, I was on vacation. Yeah, I went to Vegas. It was like 90 degrees, the 95 degrees, mid 90s, um, the entire time I was there. It was so nice. I like I like hot weather, and just spent like my mornings and afternoons sitting by the pool, reading. Um, I am exhausted, not because I have a party here, but just kind of because I have trouble sleeping. But it was a lot of fun. Coming home was not fun. Our flight landed at like 4.30 and I didn't get home till almost 9.30 at night. I was so cranky. I was so cranky because like it, what seems to happen is that right around the time we landed, there was an incident on the highway in the direction we go to home, which meant that they had to shut down the highway. So, oh my God, it was awful. It was awful. I still need to put away all my stuff because I didn't expect to get home so late Thursday and then I went into work yesterday so I am so tired and I just haven't had the time to do that so we're gonna do that now at like 12 30 on a Saturday. I had a really great time. Um, three books with me. Oh my gosh um, my water bottle on the flight there leaked and ruined my copy. You can see that there of in the weeds and then what also happened was At least it's still readable but I finished this book ended up giving it like a three and a half I, throw that away. I still really liked it it was very easy to get through um, I didn't know that I felt like the leads in this one got to me as much as the other one um, of Love Light Farms but it's not to say this wasn't bad I just think about halfway through I don't know I was having a hard time concentrating and like getting into the story and I don't think that's the story I think that was me so yeah gave this like a three and a half I'd be interested to reread it maybe when I wasn't in whatever the heck was going on with my brain at that time um I would like to reread that then I started Finale by Stephanie Garber on my Kindle. Um, I ended up reading, I think I'm just about 300 pages into it over the course of two days um, between sitting out at the pool and 
on the plane. But also, this is why I say I don't think it's the book, it's me. Is what I was like, I've flown through finale, but also at the same time, I don't feel like I'm really retaining anything. So I feel like I'm not liking this book as much as I would like it if I was in a different mindset. I don't know how to explain it. It's strange, but I'm hoping the last bit of finale, um, I'll be maybe more awake and more into it. Um, but so far I am liking it, but I think the second one is still like my favorite so far. Um, yeah. And then on the drive home, that long, long drive home, um, I ended up finishing listening to Funny Story by Emily Henry. And here's my thing, as I gave, is I ended up giving Funny Story, I think again, about three and a half, but here, here's my thing. So I read Beach Read, Book Lovers, and People We Made on Vacation via audiobook and absolutely loved them. And then Happy Place was the first one that I actually like read. Um, and Happy Place, I almost wish I had listened to it. Like I think I would have liked it more if I had listened to it. Well, Funny Story, I listened to it, but I think I would have liked it more if I read it. Um, so maybe next year I'll do a reread. Um, I have all her, Emily Henry's other books in paperback, so I'm gonna wait for Funny Place to come out in paperback, which won't be for a while before I get it. So um, maybe once that happens, I will reread it and I will have a different experience. But overall, I did enjoy it and I am glad that I have read it. That wraps up my reading for the last few days of this vlog. Um, and I think I'm just gonna wrap it up here because I need to edit this and I need to finish unpacking and I need to eat and I just need to do some other stuff around this. Um, so I'm gonna wrap this up here. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, let me know any books that you're currently reading. So I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day, night, afternoon, morning, whatever time of the day it is. I hope it's wonderful and I will see you guys again with another video. Bye!